One, two, three, four. Okay, guys, okay. In the last video, I show you how you can start with PBG. Okay, just uh, a quick intro. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the beginning, how you start working with PBG from the first moment you download the tool to the way you have it. Okay, so I assume that you can download a project. Okay, this is not really rocket science. You can do it, guys. Okay, and once you download the procedure building generator, we're gonna start to add it to our project. Okay, sorry for my French interface. I'm coming from a country who's using mostly French. So you can see the button add to your project right here. It says add to your project okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, just close the two project i was showing last time okay so close close uh save uh, yes save okay no problem so start with the new project going to the epic launcher to my this is it my projects okay Okay. So we're starting from the beginning, okay? Just launch a new project, then add the tool to the project and show you how you can start your buildings. So new project, project location. Okay. So games, I'm going to use a third person template for that. And let's call it PBG Tuto. OK, PBG Tuto. OK. So no problem. Create. Let's go with that. Uh, searching for my PBG. So procedural building. Procedure building generator, there it is. And add to the project, okay? So add to the project, and I'm gonna add it to my project. Do, 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 where it is? Where is it? Uh, ah, there it is. PBG tuto, okay? Just add to the project. Okay, great. So back to the project, you can see that it added the new folder for me, okay? There it is, procedure being the generator, okay. And we have a lot of tools right now. So the first thing to do to make your own prefab, that is to say your own building, because a procedure building generator comes with uh, some prefabs, uh, mostly to demonstrate to you how to use the tool. So you can see that we already have this prefab, but what we're gonna do is make our own prefab. So the first thing you do is just go for the blueprint of the PBG, Procedure Building Generator, which we can find on Blueprints, okay? And you can fill it right here, Procedure Building Generator. That's it. This is the, the blueprint class that you must use. And the first thing you do is right click and create a child blueprint class, okay? And name it name your prefab so I use a convention for that I use PBG and like underscore prefab for example one that's it save and once you have that what you do you grab and make a drag and drop for the prefab on your level okay see Okay, I don't think that I have enough room on this level, okay? So I'm going to make quickly make a level and be back, okay? Sorry, guys. So, back on my level, I think we have enough room right now to do all our buildings we need. So, so going back to our procedure building generator, what we're going to do is just make our own folder for the prefabs and say, mm, my prefabs. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, I'm doing a new um, new folder for that. You can use whatever organization you want. So, um, 
go to my blueprint okay and we should have the pbg prefab right here so we're gonna move it okay just drag and drop to my prefabs move here okay this is it so ready grab make a drag and drop push and and we do have our prefab on our view so you can see it's not really appealing when you start okay so what we do just explain uh, how it works so like I said in my uh, present video you it works using spline so actually PBG works like uh, putting meshes on the splines okay each time you make the uh, a drag then what we do is just you can push it and customize your building so first things first what we must do is go to the detail view of the prefab this is it and you can see that pbg comes with a whole bunch of features and details okay <laughs> it's really complete so you can't have a full tool without a full number of c features okay so let me concentrate on the first thing that you need which is the floor system so first thing floor system okay and you go right to the floor block manager go to index and go floor then index zero <laughs> most of guys have left the video right now okay so and you go to floor segment okay and once you are on the floor segment you can start Mm, customizing your prefab so the first thing what you have is the floor wall mesh you can see right now that I do have a floor wall mesh okay and on the floor wall mesh what you can do is just customize your first floor okay so what we're gonna do is we go to the procedure building generator and go to the meshes and I guess we're gonna do entrance okay some entrance door and what we're gonna do is on the basement make the meshes of the entrance okay so starting by removing all the elements this is the best way you can do don't worry if you can't see anything right now we kind of fixed it add uh, a new mesh and then grab the mesh door okay the mesh entrance grab a second one then grab the last one okay so this is it once you've done that a very important step make sure you make a copy paste from the index one to the index two segment they said on oh, they said it on the documentation okay you can check for yourself but it's an important step before going any further okay so this is it so this is the first so this is the first index and you can see right now we only have a basement so the next thing is to add the second floor the first floor so adding and you can see right now that i have index one and index one will be the first floor so actually if you want don't want to be always uh, see um if you want to remember the thing just name your floors okay so this is the first floor and this is basically the base block okay so base block this is it so right now what do we have we have a simple prefab and the way you customized it is you do have so right now all the changes I've made are really just on this instant you have to make a copy back to the prefab to have it work okay it's a really important step um, uh, what you can do is customizing the number of floors so you can have 
Okay, number of floors. So make two, for example. Uh, let's say that we are making a building with three floors. Okay, and one basement. You can do two basement if you want. Okay, like so. Or just make it one. Okay, that's it. One. Great. So save. Okay. And the next step is to push the things back to the prefab. So how you do that? So right now we can see all, all our building right here. Okay. Go back to your prefab and open the blueprint. So the way you do that, just open the blueprint. Okay. Um, give it right now, right here, okay. And go to the details of the blueprint. So, we do have the details, and we have the details right here for our instance. Okay, very important. Just make a copy paste of the floor system. So, floor block manager. And of course, make the same for the roof. It's very important. So, this is the floor block manager. So, what I do, I do a copy go back to the blueprint floor block manager okay floor block manager and do pasta you can see right now that the floor block manager on the prefab has only one index but you, if you go to your instance we already do two index which means two floors basically so right now do past and you can see that i have i have to recompile my prefab guys okay so not now just going back for the roof do the same for the roof guys it's important roof block manager okay roof block manager do a copy same here roof block manager and do a sorry a roof no not the roof system the roof block manager and do a paste okay so <laughs> okay just you have to compile this the blueprint okay and one last step before going further is to go to the class settings um now i remove this one okay class settings and make sure to uncheck the run constructor script on drag this is really important because you can have if you don't do that okay once you grab your prefab on the scene next uh, next time you will have performance issue okay i already experienced it okay so the best way you just uncheck this one compile then save and that's it that's pretty much it you do have your first prefab okay so next time i drag my prefab see okay i do have my my building okay so this is it for this video okay it's been a long video but it was worth it i hope for you and um it's okay put on your comments what you want you to expose what do you want me to have modify if this video was really helpful for you okay so um don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay Mm, hit the like button okay you share my videos with all your <laughs> uh, your uh, friends okay and that's it that's all see you next